Testing for strokes can be inaccurate and expensive, but a new device may offer a better, cheaper alternative and save tens of thousands tens of thousands of lives every year. Dr. David Newman Toker is leading the study of this new technique. He's an associate professor of neurology at the John Hopkins School of Medicine. Good morning to you, Dr. Newman Toker. Good morning. So is this as important and as cool as it sounds? I believe it really is. Because we're going we're gonna to be able to diagnose more patients with stroke, deliver more prompt treatments, and save lives. How? So these are the goggles, the slight, more or less like a pair of swim goggles mm -hmm. with a, a, an infrared video camera attached that by a cord that goes to a laptop computer. And uh, the goggles measure eye movements. And the eye movements, when patients present with strokes in the back part of the brain, and that's about one out of every four strokes, they, the patients present with dizziness and vertigo. And we can tell from their eye movements whether they've had a stroke or whether they have a benign inner ear condition. And we can do it quickly and easily. Do you have to have immediately had a stroke? Or what if you had a stroke several months ago? So these are going to work best in the acute stage. So we're going to have patients who are coming into the emergency department with new symptoms. Mm -hmm. But that's a lot of people. We're talking about 4 million people a year coming to the emergency department with dizziness and balance symptoms. And only about 5% of them have strokes. But finding them is important. Is it possible that we'd be able to use this in the future to detect if you're likely to have a stroke? So I think that's less likely that we're going to be able to predict far in advance. But what's great about this is that it can potentially detect people having very early minor strokes before they become serious. And that's really the opportunity to intervene. Okay, doctor, so you say this is more accurate than an MRI. But if I look at these glasses, I have to say it does look a little bit rinky-dink. I mean, <laughs> really, this is, how does this work? How is this more effective than an MRI? So the, uh, what the goggles do is they're measuring physiology. They're measuring the, the, the state of the, how the brain is working. And that changes immediately in the middle of a stroke. When there's lack of blood flow to the brain, immediately the uh, eye movements change. It takes a little bit of time before the structure of the brain starts to change from the stroke. That's actually the window of opportunity to intervene. And it, so it takes hours for the MRI, actually a couple of days for the MRI to really show up the strokes some of the time. We've seen false negatives out to two days One quick with point. MRI. Um, is it, my understanding, am I wrong, that if you can get to the hospital within the first three hours of a stroke, you can ameliorate some of the difficulties that come from it? That's correct. So clot-busting drugs have been used now out to about four and a half hours after a stroke. And this is an opportunity for, for us to intervene in patients with new early strokes. We've put these on people as early as an hour or two after the start. Okay. It may look rinky neck, but it also looks painless <laughs> for anything Pain, that works Painless that way. and easy. No needles. Right. Yeah. No needles. Thank, Thank you, Dr. You. David Newman-Toker.